ice cold. Trump distances himself from Netanyahu after the election. Our relations are with Israel, Trump told reporters Wednesday. So we'll see what happens. Reported by Vanity Fair. Benjamin Netanyahu is learning the hard way that Donald Trump is a fair weather friend. The right wing Israeli Israeli Prime Minister had been among the president's few steadfast friends on the world stage. Trump in turn has long stood strong with Netanyahu, but after BB appeared to suffer a stinging loss in the Israeli elections this week, Trump did what he always does when his buds fall on tough times and can no longer benefit him personally. He distanced himself from the embattled friend, appearing to downplay a relationship that Netanyahu made central to his re-election pitch to voters. Our relations are with Israel, Trump told reporters Wednesday, de-emphasizing Netanyahu's significance to the alliance after the prime minister failed to establish a conservative majority. So we'll see what happens. It was a notable turn for Trump, who has cast Netanyahu as his good friend. He's tacked close to the Prime Minister, taking a number of Netanyahu-friendly actions as President, including recognizing the Golan Heights as part of Israel and moving the U.S. Embassy to Jerusalem and offering up his full-throated endorsement in last April's election. The United States is with him and the people of Israel all the way. Trump tweeted at the time, Netanyahu in turn has lavished praise on Trump, saying that Israel has never had a better friend, and even naming a planned settlement trap, settlement Trump heights playing into the president's well-established enthusiasm for seeing his name on things. Netanyahu made his relationship with Trump a focus of his latest campaign, putting images of himself with the president on election billboards. But the strategy didn't exactly pay off. At the very least, he'll have to share power with the centralist Blue and White Party, which appears to have won the most seats in Parliament, edging out Netanyahu's conservative Lukid Party. That means he won't be able to establish the right-wing government he wants. There is no choice but to establish a broad government, he said in a statement. The rival Benny Gantz is outright rejecting Netanyahu's leadership saying that his blue and white party had won and would not be dictated to. I am interested in and intend to form a broad and liberal unity government, he said. Under my leadership, Netanyahu, who may soon face corruption charges, is now looking at perhaps the greatest threat to his long-held power. And where is his good friend Donald Trump throughout all this? Watching the election closely, he said, but not exactly seeing like he's rushing to BB's corner. Ice cold, the Brookings Institution, Tamara Coffin, wits quip of Trump's comments.